What's up guys? I hope you're having a good day out there today. We're going to be doing a review of the NACA adapter. Now for those who don't know, the NACA adapter is an evolution of the SECT adapter, which you guys are very, very familiar with. Now there is a difference. The NACA has this little crosshatch uh, diffuser inside of the adapter that according to the makers, creates a better spray pattern. We shall see. Now the NACA adapter has two halves to it, so make sure you put the lower portion in the can or you will get a wet hand. Now I had a question from someone regarding cutting the stem slot on a Rusto can. It doesn't really work, and I will show you in just a second here and the reason why is i have a narrow urethra it does it doesn't allow the paint to flow through in that manner like a female can so it's not going to work but i'll show you anyways so why don't we do it first let's start with the sect adapter as you can see the sect adapter does allow the new york fat to work uh I've never really liked the flare from the sect. Um, and, and as you can see here, it's a little bit dirty, but it works. It definitely takes the cap and um, you know, it's they invented it. You gotta give them props for that. Now let's check out the NACA adapter. As you can see, the NACA adapter uh, creates a much smoother, wider flare. It's more, it's more even and more, well, it's just a better contoured line as you can see here. Uh, we're gonna do a quick little flare, but watch as I do this spiral here. Look at that, it's much cleaner than the Sect adapter. So they've definitely improved on it. Now let's see the one with the cut stem slot. This does allow for a higher volume, but it actually loses some of its flare characteristics. I think the problem is it kind of messes up the seal. Um, it does spray faster, I did notice that. Uh, but it's just, it, it lacks the flare. It just doesn't have the same kind of flare. Look at this, it's just dirty, not good. All right, up first I'm using a New York fat cap as my fill and outline cap. It, it's kind of my go-to when I'm using an adapter. So I've, I've tried dot caps and a variety of other caps and I don't really like the way they spray when I'm using the adapters. Uh, a lot of people like the uh, Boston cap on these. Not my favorite cap, but I'm probably the minority in that. That said, uh, this works really well and um, I would definitely use this, but I'm more of a fan of the direct mount caps. Now, some people might think I'm biased, but I'm not. I, I genuinely like the way direct mount female caps feel. Uh, it gives me more precise tactile feel, and I don't feel like I'm stretching my short, stubby Cuban fingers up that thing. And uh, that's a bit of a problem for me. I have very short fingers. <laughs> but uh, also, I think I get less overspray with direct mount caps. That said, adapters are very popular and they work really good with the caps so uh, it's really just a personal preference thing right now i'm using krylon color max you can see it took me two coats to get uh, somewhat good coverage out of it that said it does dry pretty quick so if you're doing layers and stuff it's pretty nice to work with i will say this i did enjoy using the lego cap quite a bit it's a very very nice cap with these adapters and it makes very clean hard shines uh, i'm a fan I did notice that the Rusto cans do create a bit of a thicker line with the Lego. I think there's a bit of a pressure differential between the Rustos and the um, the Krylon cans. That said, you should be well served in both, but probably buff the wall if you're gonna use Krylon. That would be my recommendation. These adapters actually work as advertised. They actually flow and in, in write in the same fashion as a female can to male cap combination. You're getting those nice buttery flares, you're getting the nice skinny lines, you're getting the skinny to fat action, which is really nice, um, and you still have a lot of control. Uh, I don't like how they spin around, but again, I probably will get used to that. That said, it is definitely an evolution from the old school adapters. And I can't believe I'm even saying old school adapters. We're actually in that realm now. But look at this New York fat cap. That looks really damn good. It actually looks like, to me, like an old Krylon can with a New York fat cap. And for those who are my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's got that flow. All right. <clears throat> I'll take everything back I said about the Boston cap. It's actually pretty awesome. So <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you need to change your perspective to understand something, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, but I gotta get out of here guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, be sure to share, be sure to like, uh, be sure to rip the video and copy it. I don't care, help me get out there. Uh, just spread the love homies. I gotta go, peace.